Good morning. In continuation to yesterday's talk, we have to tell about the ambulance of a railway track. The railway track means cross section, as we have seen the cross section of the railway. It's called a permanent PW, abbreviated as PW, permanent PW. Because once the railway line is set, track is set with the appurtenances, then it is permanent. Possibly that may be one of the reasons why it's called a permanent way. If you look at its cross section, uh, you have a very compacted natural surface of soil, which is known as the subgrade. Subgrade, very compacted, well leveled, made dense as dense as possible. Wherever the soil is weak, it will be stabilized, it will be recompacted, sufficient time will be given for consolidation, then compaction or different types of stabilizations. Everything will be done on natural ground if it's required. If you get a firm strata such as a rocky strata, then you can straight away start constructing the other parts of it. There will be a, a definite trapezoidal shaped piling up of coarse aggregates, C-O-A-R-S-C, -E, coarse aggregates, larger aggregates, they are called coarse aggregates, they are otherwise called metal. Okay, they are called metals. Having a size of up to 80 mm, starting from 40, 60, 80. Sometimes you make it oh, more compact, 20 mm also will be enough to see. It will be just like a trapezoidal shape. Put a layer. Spread it, make it amped and compacted again to layer. Like that, the required thickness, the embankment. Required thickness of a trapezoid, as I have told you, the side will be inclined to take care of the stability of slope. So that is known as the ballast. So over the subgrade, you have the ballast. Well compacted without the least voids, as dense as possible, and without any slippage to occur. So the required side slopes will be given. Uh, sufficient having a sufficient top width to accommodate the railway operations, train or the locomotive operations. The sufficient width at the top. Then base width will be again increased because it is a trapezoidal shape. Over the ballast, the major load transferring component comes. It is called the sleeper. Usually, the moment sleeper in railway comes, we think about the sleeper coaches. Sleeper coaches. But technically, the sleeper, as far as civil engineer is concerned, first thing to a civil engineer mind, sleeper means it is a horizontal member laid at equal intervals on the ballast. That is a sleeper. Then I was turning my mind why this name sleeper has come to that? Why, why it is called? I am not sure whether my, uh, my my logic is correct or not, but by my common sense, what it is, this will considerably reduce the noise 
generated by the travel of the train. This component reduces the noise generated by the, especially when I told you yesterday that when the wheel enters the gap between the joints, dip then coming out, then dip coming out. During that a lot of noise will be generated. Sleepers play a very important role in reducing the noise. Since it is reducing a noise, it facilitates sleeping. Since it facilitates sleeping, it is called a sleeper. That is all what I feel, I don't, I am not sure about that. Initially sleepers were uh, of timber, well seasoned. The process is known as creosoting. Creosoting plants will be there near the stations of major stations. Best structural timber will be cut and shaped to the sizes. Then they will be seasoned at different stages, totally dried out. The process of creosoting will take place. Then there will be the seasoning itself giving imparting resistance to the timber. Any environmental climatic hazards. Because alternatively, the sleepers have to be subjected to rain, the sleepers have to be subjected to summer, the sleepers will be subjected to exposure of saline areas, it will be subjected to proximity of termite. So all those things will be taken care of and the well seasoned timber pieces having definite size and shape will be laid over the barrels. So the next component on a permanent way is the sleeper. And the sleeper initially it was timber. Timber has been replaced now with pre-stressed concrete sleepers and for, for the past two decades, two to two and a half decades, slightly now three decades you can say, for three decades all wooden sleepers have been replaced by pre-stressed concrete sleepers. First of all, um, you know, restriction in use of timber, timber well. Second, non-availability of that much good structural timbers, non-availability, and cutting out trees may create ecological problems. So, a proper substitute after rigorous structural research, experimentations, a well designed component has been obtained by the process of pre-stressing and uh, a very good effort has been taken in this direction by Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Structural Engineering Division of Indian Institute of Technology in Madras, as well as Indian Railways are concerned. They have taken a lead role involving a very good pre stressed sleepers for the railways. A lot of research has taken place on that and optimally designed, structurally versatile, capable of taking loads and resisting lateral as well as longitudinal loads. The very purpose of sleepers are to take care of lateral and longitudinal loads and transfer the load over that comfortably to the ballast very safely and that ballast load, total load will come to the compacted natural ground. 
So that is the principle of loading. Load comes, it, the sleeper is in this direction, takes the load, transfers in the pad ballast, ballast transfers to ground. So the next test sleeper material is pre-stressed sleepers. The role of a sleeper I told you, one is to reduce noise, even though it is not the major purpose. Major purpose is to transfer the load, very comfortably, one, one is that. Second, to reduce the wear of rails, I have told you yesterday, so to reduce the wear of rails by facing or taking into account the impact forces too. Then, in certain cases of crossings, such as bridges, in bridges, railway bridges, you can see, especially when the railway lines go under a river or go over a river, when the railway track goes over a river, there will be all different types of bridges on which, on the top sides of the bridges, you will have a row of sleepers at definite interval. And those sleepers carry the load. So there, there is no ballast, only the design, structurally, structurally designed bridge on which across the longitudinal direction of the bridge you have the sleepers and the sleepers have to take care of the load. And you cannot have parapets also there. So trains go over and the sleepers take the load comfortably, safely transfer it to the longitudinal girders. That's also the role of sleepers. Then the sleepers have to accommodate the traffic management system. Sometimes they have to accommodate the traffic management systems of the trains, controls, the controls. Then sleepers act as an insulator. They act as an insulator. They take care of the vibration to a great extent. By which the strain on the rails, I told you the rails are I section, shape of the cross section of rails are I, they are going to be over the sleepers. So the vibration coming because of the speedy trains, that vibration will be to the steel rails, those steel rails is properly, that vibration is damped out by the sleepers. In the case of wood, uh, it will be wonderful. The wood uh, is so resilient, it's a damper. Priestess congee sleepers also act as good dampers of vibration. Design, so that it will be designed in that way. So over the sleepers, you have the rails, major rails on which the train is going to ride. Parallel rails, I section, in the shape of I. So the load coming on these two I sections, that I section transfers the load to the equally spaced sleepers. In certain areas, sleepers will be again nearer. Then that sleepers transfer the load to the ballast, and that ballast transfers ultimately the load to the subgrade. So this is the cross section of a permanent way. That that complete setup is by the role made by the role played by the civil engineer. 
see region you decide the compact compactor subgrade he has to arrange the ballast in the trapezoidal shape the sleepers have to be designed and laid and the rails have to be kept over the sleepers fastened tightened fixed firmly on the sleepers so we will discuss thank you god bless